So when I'm not a writer, uh -huh. I'm actually an engineer. And most of you probably already know what this means, but in case you don't, as my daughter would say, I'm a fixer. In her mind, there's not a problem she can bring me that her mama can't fix. But I often wonder what will become of us both the first time she realizes I cannot solve them all. The first time she comes to me a shattering mirror for a reflection because the world tells her she is a black girl and a black girl is never enough. Now I can build bridges and buildings, but I can never build up her self-esteem because she knows as her mother, I will always tell her she is beautiful. But I am not the one she wants to hear that from. I am not the one who has to believe it. It's the first time. She comes to me, a broken clock for a heart, falling apart and stuck in her weakest moments. And no matter how steady my hands or methodical my mind, I cannot stitch the pieces back together. See, I fathomed a million and one ways in which minutes, hours, days equal her healing, but the result is always the same. And all I can tell her is she must find a way to move because time heals all wounds, but I will die a little beside her because I know sometimes this too is a lie, it's the first time. She told her father and I about a bully and she cannot comprehend not being friends. I cannot articulate that their love will not always be equal to or greater than her own, that not everyone will love her the same. And all I can pray is that the world we have seen does not become a typhoon in her soul. She cannot calm a sorrow. She cannot love her way over and through. It's the first time. She asks me about death, says, mommy, will you and daddy die? I don't want my parents to ever leave me and all I can muster is a baby. We all gotta go sometimes, but I promise I will see you again. But if there's anything that engineering has taught me is that I cannot defy the laws of physics. So I weep to myself wondering if this is indeed true. And I remember that one day I will have to kiss my own mother goodbye and there's nothing I can do to fix it. And I don't know if I can handle that. I don't know if I can handle any of this. See, the engineer in me is structured, organized, type A as fuck. She's controlling, but like always in need of assistance. She's awkward, but like hella brilliant. She's, she's terrified, terrified, y'all but unwilling to run from a challenge because in spite of it all, she has said it enough to be convinced that there is not a problem she cannot solve. See, I'm great. I'm great at being an engineer, but I'm still wondering if I'm any good at being a mom.